Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to explain and share with you an idea about how you can interface your Arduino Uno with the HC05 Bluetooth module and then together with the I2C um, sensor that being attached with the sensor shield over here and then we are going to interface it using the picto blocks surprisingly right so uh, we are going to learn how you can use the picto block as a mechanism for you to make a coding and then um, we just adjust a little bit of that coding so that our um, i square c sensor for example in this case bmp180 can be used uh, in our arduino ide and thus can collect uh, data from our smartphone so let us begin to interface the sensor so the first of all you need the arduino uno any bot can do and then this is the arduino uno shield version 5 so this shield are very um, useful for me because it is helping me to uh, interface with a lot of sensor just uh, connected over there and then uh, they have the i square c uh, communication over here and then they have also the a4 and a5 let me just zoom it a little bit so that you can uh, have a look about my explanation so they also have the a4 and a5 and also the um, i square c so this is my sensor so i'm going to interface with the bmp 180 sensor so as you know the bmp um, it is a typical um, sensor that are going to be um, used to measure the temperature uh, pressure and also altitude so i'm going to connect this uh, vcc and also ground to the vcc and also ground of this um, sensor and then followed by the sda and scl over here so if you can see scl is um, orange color so scl i go to uh, here and then we have the another one which is the sda are going to be attached like this all right so we interface already our sensor bmp180 so now we are going to interface with another one which is we call it as the um, hc05 uh, bluetooth module so the way to attach this one is basically you can attach it using the 5 volt and also the ground so this is the vcc okay sorry so the vcc go to the vcc and then the ground go to the ground of the uh, arduino all right followed by the soft serial if you um, watch my previous video i'm talking already about the soft serial because we are going to attach with the uh, soft serial using rx and tx so the rx are going to be attached at the soft serial number digital pin 3 and then another one which is the tx are going to be attached at the um, digital pin number two okay so this is the idea about how you can interface uh, your arduino uno with the hc05 and then uh, also together with the um, complex sensor or um, digital sensor like bmp180 that can be used uh, using the picto blocks and then make some adjustment uh, so that it can be used uh, later on in our arduino ide for uh, collecting the data so let me just proceed with another one which is we are going to learn how to code it right so first of all you can just uh, open your picto blocks okay if you can see here the picto blocks is already open and then i'm going to select the board so in my case arduino uno is one of the board of selection and then followed by this uh, connect button so please select your uh, serial communication accordingly and then proceed with this uh, mode please en ensure that you are going to choose the upload mode and then followed by this uh, setup okay we can just drag this arduino uno startup followed by a few materials over here on the pallets so the first one we are going to import the forever block inside here and then we can proceed with variables so um, because i'm going to interface with one of the sensor um, BMP got three parameters right so, but uh, in this video I'm just going to focus on one parameter just to give you an idea about how you can code it using beta blocks and then copy the code and make some manipulation and changes so that it is can also be interfaced uh, using a double applications so the next one you can just name your variable so I'm going to name it as temperature uh, let me just make it simple like this tem alright and then set your variables inside the forever block okay and then uh, we are going to uh, leave that one like that or you can just put a dummy um, 
dummy block over here just to give some indicator all right so now we are going to interface with devils okay as you know in my previous explanation the devil is one of the steampedia product uh, where you can uh, install it in your mobile apps whether you are using the iphone or android based um, phone and then you can interface with all the sensor and collect the data and ask the computer to save the data as a csv file so it is, can become a data logger uh, you can use the sensor portables and then you can make a data collection uh, in anywhere on the uh, around the world as long as you bring your phone and also it is being connected using the uh, bluetooth module so the first step is actually you need to initialize the double using the set uh, baud rate of the bluetooth 9600 and then followed by uh, down here you can see there are some um, IOT module that you can choose from okay the first one we just insert this uh, create just take two of it inside our main canvas and then followed by this lock all right so this is a basic uh, idea about how you can interface it and then uh, after that you are need to arrange everything as follows okay so the first one you insert it under the set uh, bluetooth board read and then you can just arrange the forever block down there and then give the name okay so this is uh, a little bit tricky you need to create the file so the file will be named as uh, bmp and then we are going to create another one which is in this case we are going to create a column because a column to give uh, something to do with our data so i may want to spell it out here as data so basically um, we are going to make some log or we are going to logging a certain certain data in our uh, column section inside a double app so that it can be saved in our phone and after that we can export it out for data analysis purposes so we are already set our um, variable as temp just now and then proceed with this log under the set function over here and then enter a column name we are going to specify as data so this is a very crucial part where you need to make sure that this name is actually similar with this name okay because whatever that already being locked are going to be arranged uh, in this particular column and then it can be saved automatically in your phone uh, via bluetooth connection and then it can be analyzed later on all right so the next step with data we are going to insert the temperature variable over here just navigate it through over here variables and then select your variables that already been identified before and then insert inside your data so actually your interfaces the main interfaces of uh, all the codes and also the functions of the sensor is there but you need uh, to make some sort of um, instruction so that the arduino also understand the process of uh, processing this um, instruction in the sequence manner therefore uh, usually what i will do i will insert this if then statement okay because we need to instruct the arduino if something happen like this just please stop logging the data that's all all right so i'm going to um, insert the if statement uh, inside the forever block like this and then i'm going to specify something to do with the reading so let me just put some simple operator over here so we can just uh, indicate that oh okay if uh, if anything with regard to the um, analog read more than certain value then please log this data but uh, actually this one much more um, correct if you insert it on the top of it okay so let me just make some changes over here okay the the structures should be like this uh, set the temperature as the read analog pin this one are going to be changed after this um, it's just a dummy over here and then uh, we can just specify if it, if any reading is more than one then please log the data as follows okay and then we can make another if st uh, if then statement down here where we say the same thing basically um, we are going to say if is equal to zero for example uh, just uh, for the sake of uh, making sure that the sensor are actually responding to our uh, setup okay just put over there is equal to zero then we ask the arduino to stop logging everything all right so you can see the function inside the iot module over here we can say that uh, stop data logger all right by doing this actually you are um almost finished setting up your 
Arduino Uno, you can just firing up. But of course, we are not using the read analog uh, pin at the AO. We are actually using the I squares here. So how you want to interface the uh, code from the picto blocks in our Arduino IDE so that we can use the double the double apps here if you can see a double over here a double is actually a mobile app for us to control uh, the data that being gathered from the Arduino sensor so to do that just uh, copy everything and then uh, please hit this um, write or edit mode okay and then just uh, press ctrl c so that we can copy all the code and then make some manipulation in the Arduino IDE so that we can ask the Arduino IDE platform to call upon all the I square C um, sensor okay just uh, usually what I will do I'm just going to copy everything and then paste it somewhere inside the notepad okay by using this uh, we are actually uh, try to make sure that all the codes are, um, are in a good condition okay are already arranged in a sequence manner alright so after we finish everything so please do not forget to disconnect first your Arduino Uno okay just disconnect it alright because uh, otherwise it will conflict with our Arduino IDE and then proceed with the Arduino IDE over here open your Arduino IDE and then basically we are going to copy all the codes that already been generated by our uh, picto blocks uh, but we make some changes with regard to the use of the i square c sensor okay so this is the interesting news and also idea because um, quite sometimes we need the i square c sensor right to interface with our arduino and at the same time we want it's also being functioning and then it's also be simplified uh, in terms of make the code of uh, that sensor so the best way to do that is actually using the double apps uh, you can also use the another apps like um, uh, blink or uh, remote xy or anything that you think uh, it is very suitable for you for your applications but in my opinion i think uh, double is one of the best um, solution for you to make an iot project that are benefited for you also to record the data uh, from your sensor okay just wait for a while okay so now we are going to copy our code that from the picto blocks and then just paste it inside our arduino ide so the main idea now is actually to interface with our bmp uh, 180 so we need to understand also what kind of libraries that will be involved in this uh, manipulation so perhaps you can just open the simple sketch library obtained from the BMP 180 but of course sometimes you can't see it because um, currently my Arduino is not set up at the Arduino Uno but I can see here Adafruit BMP 085 so BMP 085 is actually compatible with the BMP 180 uh, the reason why I opening this um, sketch is just to get an idea what kind of uh, name involved in our libraries okay so just put here one library over here and then we can just call upon this uh, Adafruit BMP 085 down here as the initialization stage and then perhaps one more that are uh, usually being used uh, for the I square C of course we need to include the wire okay the wire dot H all right so everything is in order so now we are giving the float temperature uh, but we name it as a float temp and then proceed with the double begin and then usually we can also specify here as serial.begin just to um, observe any changes or any um, any remarks that already being attached uh, that already that will be produced by our serial monitor and then proceed with this pin mode as we can see this is just a dummy one make sure you change it but what you need to change or oh, basically you need to change with the functions of the i square c okay so just type wire.begin all right and then this is remain the same because this is the as default we are calling upon the double.h this is one of the function in the double and then we come to the double.process input so this is the crucial part where we need to make some adjustment so if you know this is the analog read actually it's not here it's, it's not meant for this because we are going to interface with our um, Adafruit BMP085 which is the BMP180 uh, sensor module so I'm just going to get an idea what kind of uh, code or what kind of script that I should write here to call upon the temperature so you can see here BMP.read temperature in a bracket 
so you can just uh, spell it uh, spell it right this bmp dot read temperature okay open bracket like that so make sure you write it in the correct manner otherwise it won't uh, give you the uh, results okay so we just initialize this one analog read are going to be changed as tem okay and then we are going to change this one also the analog read are going to be changed into tem so this is only an idea uh, to make sure that um, the reading is there and can be displayed in our double apps after this um, and then it can be recorded in our csb format inside the phone via bluetooth by the connection of the hc05 so as you know when we import this double and then call upon the beginning of the double begin so actually we are initializing the hc05 simultaneously uh, that already been connected at the um, digital pin number three and two just now okay so maybe i'm just going to uh, put uh, something down here which is we call it as a serial print ln just to have an idea what kind of output that already that will be produced by the sensor over here so just uh, put tem all right so serial pin temperature also are going to be displayed in our serial monitor just to make sure that everything is in order all right so after you finish up um, make some adjustment on your i square c device uh, by um, inserting appropriate libraries and also make some sort of initialization and then uh, we make some adjustment with regard to the setup of our float uh, reading and then we can just firing our codes inside the Arduino sensor so let me just uh, proceed with it going to upload our code inside the Arduino Uno if you can see here and then uh, we are going to proceed for um, downloading it inside our Arduino Uno. So the first one, you can go to the tools over here and then select your Arduino Uno board uh, followed by the port and then you can just um, okay, uh, choose your Arduino Uno and then followed by the port and then you can just upload. After you upload your code and then you can try to observe the outcome from our double apps, whether uh, there is some uh, data being captured or not from our uh, double apps. Okay, so let me just uh, show with you the double apps and how you can uh, interface with it. Okay, so first of all, you can go to this double app. Okay, this is the double app, D-A-B-B-L-E, the double. Okay, just go over there and then uh, you can proceed to connect it with your um what we call it as the bluetooth just go over here and then find your bluetooth in my case is h5 z hc05 okay your original conditions of your phone and then the next step is actually you go to the pen your device and then find your uh, device as follows so the first one you have this hc05 and then followed by the default password which is usually is one, two, three, four, and then place OK. After that, your phone are going to be configured in a such a way it is already being connected. And then open your double apps over here and then uh, make a connection between your uh, HC05 uh, um, Bluetooth module. Okay. The blinking are so rapid until the blinking are no longer rapidly... Uh, rap until the rapid blinking is disappear or it will be in, um, two seconds once so that's mean your connect connections are good and then uh, it's already been connected to your smartphone so the next step you can just scroll down and then uh, please choose this iot okay and then proceed with the data logger so if you can see here the configuration bmp.csv is ready but nothing appear and then the first trick is actually you can just press the reset button over here on your Arduino Uno. Just press the rest, uh, restart and then just have a look whether there are some error or not. Okay, there is nothing to do with our connection. So what we need to do, we need to go back to our code and then make some modification if there is any. So after a while, then um, we can also make some sort of comparison with our um, initial original messages or original sketches provided by Adafruit 
you can see here yeah we can see this is something that we need to include so basically we need to call upon the bmp.begin uh, to ensure that our 180 sensor are being activated so therefore we might want to insert one more which is bmp.begin okay just initialize those things in the setup and then we can re-upload it and then we can just have a look whether there is some capturing uh, data or not just wait for a while until it's done um, uploading it goes in our other log okay so let me just have a look whether that is successful right so this is the status the compilation status over here so we just wait for a while the compilation um, finish and then uh, we hope that the compilation is good and then uh, the begin the begin is function and our BMP uh, temperature can be locked in our system okay i'm sorry about the updating of this code yeah usually we need to like, uh, try an error okay see yeah alhamdulillah thanks god so everything is fine already so if you can see um our data log is already enabled and then we can um, basically obtain the data, capture it, and then record it inside our smartphone um, nearby the Bluetooth sensor. So that means this module or this uh, sensor shield and also the BMP180 can further be used to collect the data in, in the field. So if you want to change one area to another area, for example, you can just uh, disable it. And then if you want to open it back, uh, as I mentioned to you before, just proceed with the reset reset button over here. Your Arduino Uno reset button. And then it's going to be reset and uh, to the Arduino, you see? So that is how we want to collect the data. So this is very useful, especially if you are conducting any uh, environmental survey or any um, outdoor or indoor survey uh, with regard to the certain parameters that you want to measure. Uh, it is very useful because you want to move from one uh, area to another area and of course you can lock the data uh, using the time and also the data being locked in um, date condition so in the future um, i'm going to share with you how you can import this data because the data are going to be shared in the uh, non-human understandable format so that we can reformat it and then we can uh, try our best to measure and then understand how to manipulate the time and date so that we can use to uh, data analysis of all the output um, captured by the sensor okay I'll just give you an example okay let's say you want to change the area you can just close the sensor or close the, the logging of these uh, devices and then if you come to another spot and then you want to collect the data just proceed with the uh, restart button in your Arduino and then the logging process are going to be enabled back and then uh, it's going to be uh, capturing the uh, environmental data uh, in your areas okay if there is nothing to do with the uh, sensor just do it again yeah it is going to be locked again so that is the idea how you want to interface the data okay I'm I almost forgot uh, after you finish all this data collection um, procedure, you can just go over here. You can see this is the file. So this is our file. So our file is actually on the CSV format. So you can actually share it. So let me just share with you. After you share the file, then the file can uh, further being um, organized, uh, manipulate a little bit so that the date and time is observable. And then we can make further analysis um, using the Microsoft Excel or any analytical software. So after that, you can just um, share it using your WhatsApp, Gmail, and so on. So that is conclude our um, discussion with regard to the use of Arduino Sensor Shield uh, together with the HC05 and also uh, a very affordable sensor BMP180 together with the double app okay so this is the double app so a uh, special credit and all the details are uh, can be found in the descriptions of this video a special credit goes to the steampedia the company who are uh, invented this uh, double app that are freely available for um, new makers and also kids so that you can uh, further use the um, a lot of capabilities um, based on this Arduino microcontroller to interfere with the sensor and then to collect the data using your smartphone and then uh, you can further enhance it to make as a very important IoT project. With that, thank you very much. Uh, see you again in the next uh, video. If you think that this video is very cool and it has motivated you towards making uh, such a great project, please do uh, like, share and subscribe uh, to my channel. Until then, see you again next time. Bye-bye and have a nice day.